After going through and describing how Israel has repeatedly gone after the other nations, trying to be like Egypt, trying to be like all the nations around them worshiping their idols, God comes and, and tells them, all of you are going after these idols. All of you are doing these, these horrible things that the nations around you are doing. And you would think he's going to say, I'm going to cut you off and that's going to be it. But in verse 40 of chapter 20, God says, For on my holy mountain, the mountain height of Israel, says the Lord God, there all the house of Israel, all of them shall serve me in the land. There I will accept them. And there I will require your contributions and the choicest of your gifts with all your sacred offerings. As a pleasing aroma, I will accept you. When I bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will manifest my holiness among you in the sight of the nations. See, in spite of all Israel has done, in spite of the mess they've got themselves into, the captivity they're in, God sends them a message that there is hope. There is a day coming when he will restore them. He will call them back to himself. He will place them back on the, the mountain of Israel. And there they will be acceptable in his sight. There God and his people will join together. God wants you to know today that no matter how far you've run from him, no matter how far away you are, no matter what mess you've got yourself into, that there is hope that he will bring you back to himself. And that one day he will place you on the mountain heights of Israel, his holy mountain, and he will declare you righteous. He will declare you holy because you are his children. You are his people. So take courage today. Walk in the hope and in the knowledge that God is restoring you to himself each and every day of your life.